Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 15 in my Anno 1800 Let's Play. Now in the last episode, we built up some new production buildings in the old world, and started selling some higher quality goods to Emperor Katina in Mbessa. This bulked up our bank big time, and with our newfound cash, we bought shares in Lady Margaret's home island of Hitherhithe. We also built this little village here in Crown Falls, which we're kind of putting it in place so we'll eventually get workers and things like that. Now I mentioned in the last episode we're gonna have to tweak it just a little bit. I forgot to make room for uh, town halls so let's get to work on that just really quickly. So town halls in the artisan category basically you can't have their radiuses overlap so we're gonna need one somewhere like around here and another one around here maybe? Yeah that seems to work so let's just get to work on that right now. I think what I'll do is cut it like this Uh, I'll have to say sorry. <laughs> and maybe we could just slam it in there. Yeah. Not a huge fan of houses being at the back of it, but at least it's got grass kind of either side. Something like that? I don't know. That's... Hmm. I'll leave it like that for now. When we build it up a bit, maybe I'll end up changing it just to have some ornaments and aesthetics around. This could be like a nice plaza or something that's outside the front of it, actually, possibly. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, at least that's one. Um, so that's kind of our range there. And then we want to get another one somewhere over here. Hmm. How are we going to fit this one in? Don't take that out of context. All right. Uh, let's just get rid of the fire station for now. does fit there actually <laughs> and a fire station oh yeah I know what to do let's see if we can just squeeze this in and get a fire station in next to it mm -hmm. I actually just need a road going in there but it just looks kind of nice So that fire station has a way out on either side, uh, and then we can bring this just down a bit, giving space to the town hall. Yeah, it's got really good coverage, and it's just touching the other radius there, actually. Um, if we move it one to the right, it actually gains a household. That's fine. We don't have to min-max it that crazy. It's okay. Uh, the other thing we can do then is, I'm just not liking this open area here, so let's just double up on this. And then we can just cut the road through that way. Build some ornaments and things to make it look a bit nicer in future. Alright, loads of houses. There we go. We're just a bit more dense, a bit more packed. Uh, looks good, I think. And it just lets us fit in these two things. So, uh, the reason we're losing money is because we ran out of coffee and we're buying coffee from Madame Kahina. So we'll just grab that really quickly as well. Thank you, Madame. Now, we obviously want to get our own coffee up and running, right? And start uh, bringing our engi engineers up in population size, because that's not going to last forever, that 150 that keeps replenishing there. Uh, looks like Archibald has a quest for us. Oh dear! I most certainly did not intend to mix up the... to mix up the Duchess's ships in this ordeal. Could you manage this rather thorny misunderstanding for me, and send her my um, sincerest apologies? I don't know what accent I'm doing there. I'm not trying to do his accent. Maybe I should try that. Jolly Future. Roger. Jolly Roger. Something like that. I am available for voice work. At any time. Wrong ship. Keep that one going here. Rescue two castaways. Better safe than sorry. That was awful. Okay, Sir Archibald innocently mistook one of the Duchess's ships for, for enemies. Gave the order to sink it. We would like you to resolve the situation. Alright. Uh, now we're making a couple extra cargo ships, I think, aren't we? Mm hmm. We're making two and then one oil tanker. And we already have one. Now, what we're going to do with that is load up on some windows and concrete and steel and bring it to the. Uh, Bring it to Cape Trelawney and start really developing this place. We're going to want a public mooring, but a public mooring requires eight windows, so we can't get that right away. So while we're here, we're just going to drop off any of these items that we no longer need. That's good. 
It's good. Our flagship has some scrap that we don't need. Ready for assignment. Got some animals on this Malibu. We share a bloodline, you know. That's gross. Attention <laughs> for the Admiral. Uh, and then we'll just go to... Yeah, send these all back to the old world. Alright, good. Let's check out where our diving bell is at. Oh yeah, we have extra stuff on this as well. Uh, we can keep keep fishing for new stuff. So some of the gear that we're going to be picking up in the old world is going to help us get a better radar thing. Um, sonar device, whatever you want to call it. And that should allow us to find things even quicker and easier than we have been in, pa in the past. Uh, now before we do our dive, I guess we'll just stop here for a second. And just transfer over some stuff we don't need. Great idea from the person who gave this idea to me to do that. And we'll just go and drop this stuff off. And then this one can come back out. Alright. That's all queued up anyway. So let's see what's on my list of things to do. We never did the expedition. So we could do that now. We sent off uh, on a zoological expedition. Uh, actually just before we do we should be able to drop off that coffee. See it's a, it's a hassle doing this manually. But at least we save on having to make the whole coffee chain. But we are going to set that up now. But at least this should... Life here is rather static. Yeah, this should fix the coffee situation. We'll just leave the ship outside the Madame Kahina for in future. So you can't just keep buying it because obviously she, it runs out, you know. Um, she has to get it back in herself. Next residence is provides fish and sausages. That's interesting. Kind of. A cauldron of fish stew. Um, so yeah, let's do the expedition. I don't, I really don't like the way that says two. When I've all, clearly got one. Oh, I know what it might be. It might be the expedition for the passage. But that's not showing up. Oh, it's there. I'm guessing that's what the one means. Anyway. The flower eaters. The blue flowers have put the members of your expedition into a frightening delirium. Among the tranquil villages of this delta, your crew had seen the water plants. Baskets laden with flower and fruit everywhere. And had been curious to try them. You see, it does them no harm, the captain he, uh, had said encouragingly as they made friends with some of the locals up the riverbank one sleepy afternoon. But not long into the delicious feast of flowers, your expedition party are experiencing wild hallucinations. Uh, have the doctor intervene, ask the locals what's happening, or let them go with the flow. <laughs> Do that. Hey! Your party open their minds to visions of the divine. The horrors fade from view, and in their place come forest creatures, nymphs, and dryads. Grand cities swirl as if formed of cloud and golden ships voyage up to the moon. When the visions disappear, the crew realize they've experienced something extraordinary. Ex extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary? I guess it's fine either way. And relate what they've seen to their hosts. The flower eaters offer a token of their appreciation for a shared spiritual experience. So we got something from the marshland set in the botanical garden, and it has attractiveness 30. Yep. On you go. Cool. I'll try to be a bit more timely with that. Uh, we've got another quest. Oh, that's the one that we're doing at the moment. Cool. All right. So next on my list is... Yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. It's just to get going on the coffee now in the New World. I think that's where we're largely going to focus. So this place is pretty much set. They're not really running out, of any, running out of anything. The only thing would be the coffee, which we obviously have to just keep bringing back and buying from Madame Gehina. So now's the time to just go and visit the New World again and see if we can set this up ourselves. Oh, we've actually got a quest from um, Jean Lafortune. We could use just about anyone. Interesting. Steam vessels lack the elegance of sails, but this game cannot be won unless you adapt fast to the new rules. Bring us what we need to upgrade our fleet, and La Fortune's people will remember. Good luck. What do you need? 16 steel beams and 16 motors. Huh. Um, okay, well, you can go back to the old world. 16 and 16. Okay. We'll just have to find an idle ship here that can come out there with that. Set sail. 16 steel beams and 16 motors. Ship constructed. Ah, anything we can buy from Eli? We have a postal banker. We actually have her already. Affects a clockmaker's. A clockmaker's? What's a clockmaker? The pocket watch? Maintenance cost is reduced. Mm, no. Hello. Uh, Yafan, the cruise impresario. Affects public moorings. Increased visits. It's in the harbormaster office. 
Maintenance is reduced of the building itself. That seems good. We're about, I mean, this it's very fitting and on brand for this episode because that's what we're going to be building. And then we have a steam engineer. Affects the cab assembly line. Occasionally produces extra penny farthings. Increases the chance of specialists building, visiting your island. Yeah, we'll get... Oh, he's also a pirate. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to use him anytime soon, but we've got a good amount of money. We could just bank him for future, maybe. Half a million for those two. Oh, you know what? I'm being a bit of a fool, am I? We should really always have the trade prices ship buying these things. That would be a much better idea. Uh, so we made our second, another cargo ship. I actually don't have a dock around here, so I can't pick up items. So I just have to go there. I could um, set a rally point so that all ships will just appear around here. There we go. Anyway, we're going to load that up with construction material, like I said, and go to uh, Cape Trelawney. Yeah, so what was, what was the ship that had that trade thing? It's the one that's going... It went to Ambassa, didn't it? There she is. Uh-huh, okay. Yep, I guess you can just go back to the old world then. Anyway, trade's all done and sorted here now, so we should be Tabori, constantly delivering things. Tabernacle of Inbase and Splendor. What else you got? Bonus happiness, reduced needs for Ambassa. Actually, yeah, 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 come back here. <laughs> Let's get that. That could be good. Especially for the elders. Now, we've actually got a quest here to start, you know, doing the whole stuff with the Research Institute, but I feel like we'll cover all that in one big episode, hopefully, at some point. God, oh my days, it's so slow if we're going against the wind. We're here now, though. Ugh. Industrious embroid dress, embroid dress, yeah. What else you got? A hive smoker affects the apiary. Workforce reduced for, I guess, the bees? That's what an apiary is, I guess? That could be useful, seeing as our island for bees is really small. So we'll get that as well. <laughs> what else you got? A museum. Lost tribe set? Sure. Alright, great. So much to do, never enough time. Speaking of time. Oh no. Rival buys shares targeting future takeover. Bankruptcy? Oh, come off of it. Bankruptcy, are you having a laugh? <laughs> Coffee shortage, I know. We might have riots now. I can feel them coming. Don't have the most happy population here. Island average is six. I may make the most money I've ever made in one go, and then we get bankruptcy. Classic. Uh, well, and I understand why. We're plunging into a deficit. It's only going to be about 100 years before it happens. I'm just looking for where these shares have been bought. It might have been in the New World. So I often miss those things. Yeah, there we go. Rio de Juanita. Arthur bought them for us, from us. That's where we make our cow chuck. Um, Alright, so I need to load up that ship with 16 steel and 16 motors. It's a construction material, isn't it? 16. And 16 steel beams, if I remember correctly. We have a lot of guns. Attempting to sell them all to, um, what's her name? Isabella Sarmento. Make good money there as well. All right, let's go New World. Off you go. All right, you. Pick up construction material now. So, 50, 50, 50. We can make these two, so we should just load up with even more of this. So we're set for a long time. And then you can go to Cape Trelawney. More than ready. You've got your items, drop them off. Uh, you might as well load up with a ton of guns. 150 to be specific. Go to the New World. We'll offload them at Isabella Sarmento. Okay, we've done our quest, so we just need to bring them back to Archibald. Good. Alright, I think I'm largely on top of things again, hopefully. 
Alrighty, so that's, yeah, that's everything in place, so now we can go to the old, uh, the new world. And focus here. Got another pirate ship we could buy, but I think we're good for a while. I might buy a pirate frigate if we come across one, just because we don't have one yet. Um, Isabella's got a quest again. I'm gonna accept it this time, see if we can do it. These people. Bente Jorgensen has her heart in the right place. When she heard about our struggle, she rushed to help us. I appreciate her efforts, but I fear her harmless fleet could be an easy target for La Corona. Make sure she gets out of the region safely, please. Go. I trust you. Moving to coordinates. Okay. That should be fine. Three frigates? I think we'll be okay. We actually have never lost a ship in combat, I don't think, this whole playthrough. Okay, so you may remember, over here at Puerto Penus, uh, we are still making loads of cotton. And in fact, the cotton trade route is even still operational, but we don't use it anywhere. Um, I think we will be using it when we get to Bombin Weavers, I think. I can't quite remember the chain, but we need 600 obreros before we get there. They're also in need of beer. It's actually um, a luxury need. They could also be drinking rum if we allowed them. They do actually have too much of it, in a way. But we don't need to let them have it. They're happy enough. <laughs> Five happiness, that's great. We'll try to get them the beard, though. If we could do that, that'd be good. That would have to come from the old world. And, yeah, it would actually be a good trade route, because what we could do is bring beer here, and if there was nowhere to... If they couldn't drop any more of it off, we could just sell the excess in the pirate den here. Right? And this would, um... This would give us the gold... Yeah, oh yeah, sorry. This would, they, They'd buy it the same... Oh my god. John would buy it for the same amount that Anharla does. So we could actually do a swap. Instead of offloading the excess rum we have here, we could offload the excess beer. And instead of selling her beer, we could sell him beer. Yeah, that would actually work out pretty well. So we might end up doing that. So I don't think I explained that extremely well, but it basically means that the beer that comes in here, when we've got any left over, we ship it off to him. The rum that goes out, if we've got any left, we give it to Anne. Perfect, right? I guess that's probably how it's supposed to go. Now we're, right now we're doing it the opposite way, which is um, a bit of a mistake because we're tra we're traveling back with rum, which is slowing down our route. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So um, we're just going to have to build out a new area for coffee. So let's go out this way because I'm going to keep that there because we'll use it, I think, in future. Let's do the quest or the um, expedition. A grisly encounter, a bear attack. The party ponder this very real possibility as threatening grunts stop them dead amongst the furs. Fifty yards ahead, a huge specimen, specimen lurches upon, up on two legs like a totem, standing between them and escape. We've had this before, actually, so we'll just move on. Use hunting knowledge. Yeah, we have our diver. Bonus 30% chance. That's a bonus 20% chance if we try to use camouflage. We'll see if the diver can figure it out. The tug boatman. It's beastly, Admiral. Trust in uh, expert hunters never feels misplaced, even when they recommend the party break into passionate song for singing the shanty Cheerlieo brings the crew together, whilst also dispersing the wary beast bears deep into the forest. All right. <laughs> I love how, yeah, he definitely used his crafting skill there. Oh, break out into song and that'll make him go away. Fair enough. Uh, okay, cool. So. Let's cut the road in this way. Destroy all of this. <laughs> I always laugh when I do that, just because it's such a, it's such effortless deforestation, you know. Um, he's happy that we handed in the quest. I am quite penetrated by your kindness. Good, and we'll get notified when the ships come into this region. Okay, so coffee. Let's, uh, let's see. We've got coffee beans. Be ready. We have coffee beans, 20, uh, 10 workers, cool 10 yornaleros. People said I'm saying that wrong, but I don't think so. Ship construct. Let's try three for now. This might be a bit tedious here, but we'll see what happens. Actually, got a better idea. No need to build up to that wall. Right, so we have our two coffee roasters, and we need four um, of these. Ship under attack. Stations. Right. 
Remember, we're escorting Benty, Benty Jorgensen ships. All right, no problem. Easy enough. Easy enough. All right, money is good. Money is good. All right, let's continue with the coffee. So, I think it's two of these for one of these, so let's just make another one. Yeah, and they could just travel along the road. So we'll start with this one. It'll make sense kind of why I'm doing this once we get done with it. But we need to make use of every little bit of module space that we have. Alright, good. Is that it? Nope, just a little bit more. Good. Next one, here. And once it's done, it'll look a bit, a bit more correct. They kind of uh, merge together, their fences get kind of merged into one. Hopefully I've done this right. I think this will all work out, basically. Sixty-eight. Eventually, coffee is really, really needed by the old world. Quite a lot. Eventually, you probably need like a trade union here as well to... Honestly, the roasters should maybe actually be off somewhere else on their own and just... boost the roasters, but we'll, we'll put a trade union here and just keep it on blueprint for now. It has full coverage of all of these buildings. In fact, it, it could go a bit further down. It could fit in more things there, possibly. Alright, that's two done. We need this one. All the way up there first as well. Yeah, so I've done it right. This will fit in more than we need, even. 155. There we go. Okay, and then this one can be built and curve around. Yeah. So just for that. Uh, well, this could just have a road. These trees are kind of blocking me. Sorry. This can... Probably good to have two of them here. Break this out. Cut through. And then just make use of every little bit of the space we can. Alright, cool. So that's good enough, but obviously we are low on workforce, so we'll have to upgrade some houses. houses. Try to upgrade the ones nearest to the town center first. And then maybe pop down some new ones. kind of works like I don't like I think I've said this a million times but I don't like spamming these buildings but I do feel like the fire stations work really well together when they're all together because it's like yeah you can imagine like they're all coming out I kind of wish there was just like a giant building that gave you more coverage rather than having three of the same but uh, which actually leads me to another topic that we could talk about um, let's see the comment that we got we got it from Ben N and he said uh, with season th with season pass three announced, I would love to hear what new content uh, you would like to see in the game. It sounds like there won't be a new session, and it will be focused on the old world. So just time stamping that. Just but yeah, so it's an interesting it's an interesting question. I mean, people people have been wondering for a while. I can't ever really think of what they should add to this game. But I've thought of a couple things just in prep because I had I read that a little while ago, and I was thinking to myself, okay, what would I think about adding? For me personally, there's not going to be a new session. They've kind of said that, and they have said it. They said it's really taxing um, to add more regions to the game no at this point, like limiting, uh, taxing point. on the CPU and stuff. So, don't think we're going to see that. But um, unless some miracle happens. But one thing I'd like to see is, yeah, maybe 
buildings, things that give you a stronger buff to service buildings, so you don't need to like double up on them like that. It's the same with police buildings as well. Things that like bigger arenas and stuff like that that would give you like further, like way further range than just having two or two marketplaces, a, a bigger marketplace, for instance. Uh, that might be a bit of a weird DLC, but that's one thing I could think of. The, my kind of go-to answer initially would be combat. Uh, war does feel very, very like unfinished, I guess, in this game. It's the one thing I would say that's like, yeah, this really doesn't feel like it was designed this way, really, if you know what I mean. Uh, just bear with me. I'm trying to find as well. Yes, this is the ship that came into this region. Cool. Alright, let's go back here. Um, so yeah, War. I mean, I loved War in Anno 1404. I don't know how they could necessarily do it in this game, because obviously the era is different, and the era is a bit more known for... Well, I, I actually don't really know exactly in the... Well, I mean, it would be line infantry combat, wouldn't it? So, I think so. So, that's normally fought in big open fields. I don't know how exactly combat would take place in towns back in the day. I, I don't know anything about this era, completely. to be completely honest. I know a little bit about Roman era, and that's kind of it. And World War II, maybe. But other than that, I'm a bit of a... A Luddite. Um... Not a Luddite, sorry. I can't play and talk at all, man. It's so difficult. <laughs> I can't focus on what I'm building. I'll just end up building grids. I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to history. Right? I don't actually have that much of an interest in history on its own. I like certain periods for certain reasons, and then that's kind of it. Uh, but yeah, so I don't really know how combat took place back in the day, especially when it came to like fighting in actual cities in this era. I, I thought a lot of it was just done in like open field battle, so I'm not really too sure how they could do combat. In 1404, combat was really cool. You could like inv like damage buildings, make a make a kind of a, a gap, land troops. They would build a camp, and then you'd have to like assault the town square, and the camp would have a radius around it, like a trade union building. And that's how far they could go. And if you needed to get further and further into a town, you'd have to supply your troops with military supplies that you could make back home in different buildings. So it was actually like production chains tied to it. I thought it was really cool. And you have to use bring artillery to like knock out uh, houses and stuff to make more room for new camps and push further and further in. It's really, really, really fun. I'd love that in this game. I think it'd be great. I'd be much more willing to play like w with war if they did add that kind of thing, you know? Hmm. Let's do this. Actually. Uh, so that's another one. The other idea, I've heard this been talked about before, actually, by a few people, is tourism. And I think tourism could do, could be a lot more interesting in this game. Specifically with, like, making, maybe making buildings that would let you uh, build monuments. You know, build your own sort of Eiffel Tower or whatever. Maybe not something so dramatic, but something like that, you know? Something that takes a while to build, that takes a lot of materials, just like the monument system they have in the game. But it's specifically for attractiveness and for tourism. Um... And then maybe it could come with ornaments and things like that. The problem with a lot of ornaments is they take up so much space that I feel like a lot of people don't want to use them, even myself included. So the way I think you can make that better is having monuments, even if they're small. They, you know, you could have a monument that's really just the size of a house in terms of space, but it could give you a lot of attraction if it's like something uh, uh, that took a lot of effort. So those are some of like some ideas I would have. But as for the big expansion that should be in the season pass. Because that's maybe the two smaller ones. As for the big one, I have no idea. Um, anyways. Mutiny. Clear skies, calm seas, and mutiny. We've had this before, so we'll just see. Do we arrange a, lead, uh, a meeting with the leader, give the ringleader a raise, or make an example of him? Let's make an example of him. We know not people, says you. The rebels, oh god. <laughs> They're ready to die for their leader. It could have been quick and clean arrests, but the mutineers crowding around outside their leader's quarters don't seem afraid. In fact, when the inevitable fracas whirls into action, they're vicious. The officers thrust their swords nervously into the pack, knowing that what they do is wrong. With the loss of life and the loss of trust, things will never be the same again. I've given up my pipe. Don't want a right. dead man's chest. Off you go, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Is Isabella's quest over, by the way? Lady Margaret bought back her share. We'll buy it one more time. Meddlesome little... Don't be mad at me, please. 91, okay. Nothing much more we can do there. We'll have to wait for a quest to pop up for her now in future. Yeah, I don't see any at the moment. Okay. 
Right, so we got our extra housing um, in place. We'll just build it. And we'll need to kind of design and think about where the next few houses along the coast are going to go. Cliff sides. Oh, that's a shame. They don't really fit in on the side very well. Something like that actually could kind of work. All right, cool. Yeah, this works. Nice. So, get to build a road that goes all the way and snakes in here. Actually, just leave it there. Uh, this one hits that. Nice. Has my boat come in? It has. You cooperate. Double canister shot, usable on military ships. Rapid fire overwhelms the enemy with attacks. Nice. I guess I didn't see what we got from Isabel. Must have just been. I must have just missed it. Usually, when you escort, you have to go back. Fleet awaiting orders. Actually, no. I, I guess you don't. Actually, thinking about it. Okay. Well, good. Either way. How's the coffee? So this should be now producing coffee for the locals. We're not transporting it away yet. There it is. Where's our church? Our church is up here, a bit far away from that crowd. Should be a bit closer up here, though. And then, um, with the extra stone we have, we can now put down some nice paved roads. Extend that range. Alright, nice. This looks cool at night. Just build that. Might as well get it up and running. Yeah, cool. This place looks awesome. I have to build some ornaments. I wouldn't be a rebel if I settled so, for this. Bomben Weaver needs eight uh, six hundred. We've yeah six hundred for the beer as well. I don't know why it's lit up because it should be grayed out. But yeah, four eighty out of six hundred. So. They have everything they need. They've grown already, apparently. So yeah, we just need more of those houses, essentially. I'll have to check then the production chains. Actually, I guess we're out of wood for now. Excuse me. Are we producing wood planks? It doesn't seem like it. Hmm. I thought we were. Probably removed it. On island zero. On island three. Do we have too many of those, at least? Slightly. Right, that puts too much demand on, but what we could do is just lower that down a bit. I think it needs to go all the way down. An especially exclusive assignment. Uh, offers me an escort quest and should give us a great white shark. Oh yeah, definitely. You develop a kind of sixth sense when you've been in a business like mine for as long as I have. After a while, you learn to trust your instincts. Sail with me. Let's hope I'm wrong. Glad you find it exciting. So, approach her ship to escort. Alright, we've got a ship right here. She's outside of Archibald's. for the Admiral. This should be fine. This ship, this is one of the strongest I'd ships you can pretty much ship. get. Uh, we've made another one of these. Oh yeah, so I keep forgetting. We obviously sent over all of the guns now on one of these ships, right? One of these should have loads of guns. Is it not here yet? No way. Alright, yeah, it's taking ages. Well, at least it's on its way. Rum is on the way back. 270 in totes. I better watch what I say. Damn right. 
Not sure what to do with this. Oh, this is the oil tanker. Uh, yeah, well, we might as well start off with it in the new world. Okay, cool. So construction... Wrong place. Wrong place again. Construction materials should be ready to go now. Yes, good. Awesome. We are full up. Ship under attack. Ship of the line reporting in. On our way. Look at this for a cinematic experience. All right, cool. Um, let's see. What have you got, item-wise? with the lowest. Yet answer only to God and the Queen. Have Veteran firefighter. Man, it's taking a long time for me just to get coffee set up. I'm losing my mind. What's yeah, next? The public mooring. That was it. Rioting. What's going on now? Oh, that's actually... Well, it's not okay. That was meant to be built. That's meant to be built. Let's get all of this stuff now. When a queen asks you to do so, she asked us to build a church. That's so done now. Build a depot, a harbor master office, and a pier. Uh, yeah, pretty much that's what we can start doing now. But really, what I wanted to get going with was the public mooring. There's already enough attractiveness here to get started with it. We'll build it in a nicer place in the future, but for now we'll just leave it there. What brings you here, Master? Do we manage to find? Did we lose it? Don't even know where it is. Oh, we must have just got scrap. Okay. All right, let's get back to old mate. So, what do we need? We need steel, caoutchouc, planks, and sand in order to get some of the items from Old Nate Just that I want. Let's build another depot, seeing as we need one for the quest anyway. And I'm full. And you can Your ship has returned from its voyage. New orders? All right, the guns are here. We can just sell it for money. At this point, we don't really need to be doing this anymore. We've got so much that it's fine. I mean, micromanaging it. Uh, I'm just going to sell these weapons to this guy. I don't think I'm ever going to use them. That fervor of drums. That's when I know I'm home. Hello. Grape shot cast mortar. Usable on military ships. Now that's more like it. Also, don't think I'm going to use it, but it's cool, so we'll use it. Grape shot mortar. Fires a projectile in an arc that explodes on impact. Take it with a pinch of salt. Thank you. If we end up to go into war, it'd be nice to have these weapons in future. All right, coffee. Coffee's good. We've got plenty of Yornaleros. Let's I check the consumer goods and see how we're going. On. Coffee is four times more than we need, so There's we can start shipping it back now. I'm sure of it. Everything else is good as well. Okay, then. So in that case, let's set up a trade route. Trade route from Puerto Buenos to the old world, to swords, loading up coffee. And we'll just pick, so that's in Trelawney. One of them should be in the old world. Uh, let's go by Old World, I guess. Can we do that? It just says New World Isle Ships. God damn. Ah, uh, so frustrating. I just sent it to come here, actually. It's moving, but there's nothing on it. God damn. It's in transit. Oh, game's kind of frozen. Okay.
I'm confused. I don't see it. It should definitely be here. It's not the old tanker. Just say the word. Hmm. Okay, sorry. I don't know. I don't know where that ship's gone. There should be... I thought there was a clipper that I just sent to the... Hi. No, I guess not. Okay. Pretty sure there was. <laughs> Pretty sure I just clicked it. But it says there isn't. Alright then. Anyway, so let's set up this trade route. So coffee. Trade routes. Find uh, available ships. We want anything that's got four slots. This one's in Ambassa. I don't really mind where it comes from. I just thought we had something here, but I guess not. Alright, take this one then. This is going to be uh, New World to Old World Coffee. Pretty of the swords, load. I clicked another ship accent. I hope that doesn't remove it from whatever route it was just on. Coffee. Alright, it's filling up already, which is good. Oh my god, oh, I'm losing my mind today. Let's go. Sell, 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 sell. Alright, off you go. Good. Alright, sorry about that. Um, right, so let's do some upgrades. Boom. You're a Brero now. That was just that little bit of... Oh, we just got four timber from somewhere. How did we just get four in one match? I'm not too sure how that happened. Seeing as we've only got one Tim... Oh, they, I guess they carried it in fours. Okay. Uh, but yeah, should, that should... That'll hurt the coffee a little bit, just going up that high, but... It means that we can make more now in future. What else do we need? Bomb and Weaver is what we want next. We're at 535 out of 600. It should grow a little bit more, because some of these are just on 11 now. And tortillas and stuff like that, I think, is fine. Yeah, ponchos is even fine. Plantain's getting a little tight. A little tight. Got to be I would have to check as well the individual, like, what are we sending in between Your ship this area? Has from its voyage. Cargo ship has entered. Let's just see this. Cargo oh no. How unspeakably awful. Maybe this is the ship. It doesn't really matter anyway. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm never going to let that go. I can't get over it. No, it, it's being so sure that I did something and then just not being able to track it and know what happened to it. Anyways. Um... We've only got the one police station. Kind of a medium riot chance. We could do with having another one out here. We want to get to oil. That's what I'm working towards. But oil is going to require 600 as well. So let's see. Police station. Yeah, somewhere around here would actually be good. It's the opposite side of the town. We're still going to be building out there a little bit. A bit deeper in maybe would have been a bit better. But it's... Actually, right here would be perfect. So let's just move two of these houses for now. We're gonna need more wood. No paraiso for me. What's this? Pro what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, we're making a load of money. What happened? How did we start making money? What? What happened? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind in today's episode. I mean, I guess these guys are paying a little bit more, but not much more. That can't be it. Oh, festival maybe. There must be a festival. Surely that's what's going on. Yes, there's Your a harvest festival. From its voyage. Income per house, 10%. And what about over here? You know, ah, public mooring is probably also kicking off, isn't it? Glad. At it's making 2,753. Visitor 765. There's a riot going on, is there? Yeah. Are the, the police aren't doing anything, though. They're not doing anything about it. They must be, surely. Even just the one. I guess happiness is just kind of low. The best of what we have. They don't have enough schnapps. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, 
thought I built these extra fields out. I guess not. There. I don't know how I let that happen. Okay, cool. That should raise the happiness enough that we can hopefully... Oh, we're on also negative 10 happiness, aren't we, from the newspaper? That's what's doing it. Yeah. Alright, well, what can you do? That's really good to know that we're getting all that money. I mean, people did say you'll get more than the attraction amount. But I didn't... From my tests before, I didn't. So I guess I was wrong. Every time a shipment of visitors arrive, there's a guest uh, that... Um, there's a chance that guests will appear. 21% chance at the moment. Oh, yeah, so do we have that thing for the public mooring? Where's that uh, item? God, I don't know what's going on with me today. What happened to that item that we bought? Those are all my idle ships. All ships? I wouldn't have dropped them off, did I? Did I send it to the New World, maybe? Or um, Cape Trelawney? Because some of the ships I sent here arrive on that other island. That could be it. Nope. Bring it first class. God, I'm sorry I'm so, so all over the place. I really just don't know why I'm losing track of things. I mean, people do get overwhelmed at these stages in the game. But it's more Stay just like, oh, I thought I did something. And I'm looking back and I'm seeing that I haven't done it. Or something's not adding up. So we obviously paid, like, I don't know, hundreds of thousands to get that item that increases public mooring. Now, you, you're probably screaming at it, that it's something obvious. I have no idea where I would have moved that you ship to. For me, don't you? Sure, no way did I bring that to the New World, did I? Doesn't seem like it. Let's just sell this as well. The consummate professional. You are here That's driving me crazy. Oh, I think you can actually search your own items, can't you? In the thing. So let's do that. So items. Um, public mooring. Where is he, though? Item location, large trading post. I must have dropped him off. My god. Crazy. I can't believe I did that. Alright, well, at least that's a great way to find things, right? So we've done it. We have this item, we're going to take him with us. It's actually worked out because we're bringing this new zoo zoological item with us as well. What else do we have here? Engineer resident? No, we'll keep that stuff with us. Uh, yeah, let's take this these attractiveness items. And off to Cape Trelawney. Crown Falls. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm back on top of things. I'm back in the game. Heads in the game. So, we just got the coffee. We're nearly at 600 obreros. That's what I'm aiming for. So, let's just check our consumer goods. We're okay on everything so far. Rum's gonna get a little tighter. Oh, no, it's not, actually, because we're not consuming it, which is good. We told him not to drink any of it. Second police station up and running. We can do a little bit more upgrading. Nice. Is that 600? Not yet. Why survive when we can thrive? 593. That's enough that's going to grow to 600. Once it gets to 600, now we can start to think about the railway and the harbor and all of that. So I'll just see what's needed for it. And then we'll check I the actual... The um, we'll check what's needed and then we'll go over to the old world, pick up the construction material and come back here. So how are we doing for items? Any... I guess we could take the stag and this. Might as well bring that bring that to the old world as well. So much trade uh, going on between the regions Ready right now. Assignment. Our oil tanker is here though, so that's good. Now we have a beach on this side, which is kind of perfect because the oil can just be grabbed right here, come out to this side. So that's where the oil is going to come from. Um, people are saying you should set up oil on a really small island. Like, this would be a good one as well. If we move the cow truck out over this side and have the oil here and the oil tank thing here. This would be great. It does need... Obreros will have to kind of weigh up the costs on this one first because I can't quite remember exactly what we need for it. But I'm, excuse me, guessing, you know, 
Oh, it actually tells me, does it? Not yet. Not until we unlock it. Any moment now, we'll get it, though. Right, back to Cape Trelawney. The riot is still ongoing. I got a bone to pick with you. I'm sure you do. Neighborhood watch. Waiting to be mobilized, but I can't. Doesn't say why I can't. I have over 10 happiness, just not allowed to. So, not sure what the deal is there. Flagship awaiting instructions. The revolt left your city in ruins. Okay. <laughs> Last thing I need to do back in the old world with those ships is get the items that I'm going to bring to old Nate. And we're going to make some really good items through his transmution. You can take all the credit for any finds I make here. She wants to settle on this island in Cape Trelawney. Yeah, that's fine. So good of you to save a secret garden just for me. Okay, well that riot's over anyway. And hopefully the police will be on it next time. A competitor raised a settlement. Nice, so we're ready to start doing our upgrades here then. Their distance to a pub is actually really far. You reward uh, our which is interesting, because they don't look like they'd be far from it, but they are. It's because the road goes like that. I mean, with stone roads, I think everything will be fine. So let's start paving this place. Pave the main roads of the city as well, this one. leave it at that just for now. Let's do some upgrades. You reach a new milestone. Okay, cool. We've become a port town. Now that attraction value is going to start going down because what I'm going to be doing is making uh, pig farms and sausages and all of that stuff. I see the same old faces whenever I come here. We could set up trade routes between the old world and here for it, but I just don't want to do that right now. <laughs> we'll just get, we want to get it just up and running, and eventually if we can go back to the old world and specialize one or the other, then that's great. Maybe Rush could do it, actually, seeing as this place has hops. We could get rid of the hops in the old world. Um, so let's just do... I'll do. Yeah, that leaves room for Bright Harvest stuff. And these are just one-to-one -one with each other, aren't they? Yep. It's kind of a massive waste of space doing that, but we'll just, uh... Waste of money as well. I'm getting careless now because we're super rich. Um, we could actually think about building a palace as well. A palace costs a million. Uh, we actually have that now. Sorry, I ended up just turning them back around anyway. All right, three for now is good, and then we can build three more uh, a bit later. But yeah, this should be fine to get now workers' sausages up and running. They want bread as well. And that can be done quite easily. Also, again, I'm going to delete all of this and do a big time lapse eventually of when I'm... Once we get the steam motors delivered and oil delivered here, then we plan out like how the farms are actually going to look. So what is it is, let's do this again. So it's one minute to 30 seconds and one minute. Um, so two of these, one of these, and two of these. Farm. 
Okay. Oh, the space here is crazy that I'm able to just do this. <laughs> Not even have to think about it, really. All right, so we just need more brick factories. Or more bricks, but we'll just have to wait. At least we're good to go now. Population's looking thick. Why can't I upgrade any more than that? It doesn't want me to. Some houses are... Oh, they don't have a pub. Do I not have a pub on this side? Oh, I don't. Pub's super far away. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Oh, I thought I had a second one up here. Yeah, I guess we'll have to make one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see where we can pop that down. I mean, this pub has pretty good range, but yeah, another one out here would be nice. Uh, near the town hall, maybe. Slot it in like there. It's a bit up on one side. Hmm. Just trying to think which, you know, which group of houses to remove. It's either going to be there or somewhere here. I do like this little area. But I think I'm going to say bye-bye. That's probably a bit better. Anyway, that's just for happiness, not for needs. So why haven't they grown? Did we run out of fish? Oh, well, they, oh, they would just had runes, didn't they? Although we are low on, we're kind of low on fish anyway. All right, that's all that's sorted. Yeah, and I think maybe, maybe in the next episode we'll go over this, do our ornaments. Once that power arrives and the electricity and steam motors, then we are good to go. Ready for a challenge. Also, this guy's here now. We can set up that harbor master office. That's part of the quest, actually. Ten bricks are needed. Goddamn. Hi, hi. So more or less popular than before. I finally arrived. Now to see if the journey was worth it. It's really um. <laughs> Kind of unfair. I mean, we just get all this free attraction because the place just looks happens to look nice. We haven't done anything to increase it yet. But what I intend to have eventually is maybe down here is where the public mooring is. And we'll have this big promenade that leads like up and then all of the bridges that lead out. And it's like that's how they get into the town. And then maybe somewhere up the back here, we start having like the zoo, the museum and things like that as well. Perfect. So, this is going to load up on a bunch of small things for Nate. Might also bring some bricks with me, seeing as we just need to speed up stuff. On our way. So, construction material. Let's just take one lot of them. So, we need it just raw steel. Or uh, unrefined steel, I guess. Well, it is right. Steel ingots. Just not steel beams. So, we need about 50 of that. We need some cow chuck. And some motors as well. So take some motors with us, some cow chuck. Uh, we need iron ore and sand. That should give us everything we need. We'll also need planks, so we can get that over there. Alright, Cape Trelawney, off you go. You reach a new milestone. Nice, finally. Colony status. We can build a bomb and weaver. We can set up a hospital. We have access to different types of cloth. So I can finally see what we need for this. Yes, we do need cotton mill mixed with alpaca farm and felt to make bombins. Great. So really what we should do is just cancel that, that route. Let's find this ship actually first. Perfect. It's actually perfect. So we're going to cancel that route. We don't want to be trading out silk or cotton, sorry. So all the cotton's going to stay here now. And we're going to turn it into bomb and weaver. It's going to cost 20 uh, obreros to do it. Not too bad. But then we're also going to need the alpaca farms. 
Now, alpaca farm, I might set up on the other island and bring it in. Does it? What does it require? It's just, yeah, it's just Yornaleros. So it might be better suited just placing out here somewhere and shipping it across. Oh, I didn't realize all my ships were just stranded here. That's good to know. Fleet on the moon. Yeah, I'm just trying to think which one would be better to do. Well, we've got alpaca farms here, actually, thinking about it. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Alpaca wool is gaining. We could build silos. Silos take corn. Hmm. Yeah, that might be better, actually. But these are just one-to-one, -one, aren't they? These two buildings and this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that might be a good idea. If we ship the corn over here, we could just silo it. Or <laughs> we could just do it over here and silo it over here where there is corn instead of doing that. Yeah, that might, might make more sense. Let's just set one up, just for fun. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it needs four. Okay. It's fine by me. And this costs ten... Yeah, it's not that expensive either. Something like that, maybe. And then you could double it up. It's kind of interesting that it's offset. I was going to... I meant for it to stay together, but actually I kind of like it like that. I'll just connect it there for now and just... Throw down one of these. So, if it's anything like grain, I'm guessing that one of these consumes one every five minutes. Yeah, so you can build five of them for one extra cornfield. And we built all of them out here a long time ago, so that's pretty good. Um, but we're going to be eating into that corn now. Pardon the pun. So what we could do is just increase it slightly, although they're already quite unhappy. We don't have any of the happiness things that they want. What do they want? This is not worth all the hours, also. No. It isn't. <laughs> you need someone uh, working wood as well. Your ship has returned from its voyage. should feed back into that. Yeah. Alright, at least they'll be constructing materials now. We're gonna have to get them a church or start bringing them some rum or something because they're quite unhappy. Uh, other than that, I don't know what else progress, we could do at least. to keep them happy. It's just that happiness effect that we're getting from the newspaper that's making everybody so mad. Uh, Lady Margaret bought the shares back from me. I'll have to leave it though. I won't be able to sort that out with her. She has to just keep her shares for now. We have loads of money, but I don't want to annoy her below 90. I think that would be a bad idea. But I don't mind doing it for Arthur, and we'll see how that goes. How much do we get from it? 2,400. What? Nothing. What? <laughs> um, yeah, so only minus three. Not too bad. But could we maybe do something? Give him a gift. Say, look, chill out. There's no consistency no. of style. I should say thanks. There we go. Flattering him. Cheered him up. No problem. And our pirates are super happy because we're trading with them all the time. So that's good at least. And we've got good money. I really need to um, get my head together though and really see where everything is. Like kind of paint a picture of where we've got lots of things. I want to yes, sell this ship. Get rid of that. One piece underwear suit. Soup. A new commission? Can we build this finally? Yes. Cool. So there he goes. So this guy is now going to reduce the maintenance cost by 50% of the public mooring and increase the visits by 10%. Now you won't get it until this rotates around one more time, but if visits are up 10%, now we did just lower attraction slightly, but yeah, we should be about the same or maybe a slight increase. That's good. 
It's, it says tendency plus four, so I guess that's how much it's going to gain by, I guess. I'm assuming. But nice, yeah, halving the cost is, is helpful, even if only by a little bit. And uh, how are we doing with the workers now? How much have they grown? They just need that bread. I should do it. So they've got enough fish, enough schnapps, uh, very low on clothes, clothing, uh, really great for sausages and bread. It's like just starting the game all over again, really. This place is getting pretty dense. My whole temporary area. <laughs> but that should sort that out as well. So let's check the clothes now. Yeah, good. Alright. Nice. We're pretty well positioned. So this is a bit of an intermediate episode, I think. The last one we did a lot, where we made loads of money. And this time it was really just about focusing on building, moving things around a bit, uh, getting our heads straight. I keep saying that, but when that ship gets here, I, I don't think I've got the time to wait for it. How long until it gets here? Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to take a while. It is fully loaded, I guess. But when that ship gets here, I might as well tease what I'm planning on building. Over at uh, Nate's transmission shop, I was thinking of getting uh, the this thing here. Oh, we can't do that one yet. Which one was it? Uh, this one, yeah. So the Jet Propeller Hurricane, movement speed 25%. So this is for having 15 rare scrap, 10 motors, and 20 uh, steel. To be honest, we could buy these things if we didn't want to make them. But, you know, if we can make them, we might as well. Um, let's see. There's a, just a few different ones that I wanted. I think this might have been one. Oh, no. Isabel's nope. people are resistors fighting for their homes. <laughs> Affects heavy weapons factory. No, I can't get that one either. Although, it's interesting. He actually sells some of the items. Like, the filaments is the 10 kind of black spindle thing. He actually sells that himself. He sells motors as well that you could buy, but they, they're very expensive. The robot thing is awesome. Workforce needed negative 50%, but you need light bulbs even at the bottom tier. We don't have that quite yet. Oh, I know. Sorry. I, I should have worked from the top down. Yeah, we want to get the Nate Dar. It's basically like at a better radar, right? So that takes sand and steel and just some basic scrap or maybe medium scrap, I think. Uh, the advanced umbilical cable. It's going to take a special rare scrap. It's 20 iron ore, 15 caoutchouc. That's why we loaded up with caoutchouc. Uh, and then I think it was this one, the massive magnate salvage scrap amount is increased. So then we're just going to be like pulling up like way more, way more often. So that should be really good. Just say the um, word. And while I'm here, I've meant to be buying maps. Let's get some maps. This is the new world and the new world. Let's get both of them. Some nice little slivers in there. Guess that's maybe where we'll head next. Hey, who's this? Peter Flinders. Conservative artifacts. Equipped in the salvager. Increases chance of finding artifacts. Artifacts. Diving bell rarity. Let's just buy him. He's almost a million gold, so he must be good. Increased chance of finding items of rarity, rare, epic, and legendary while diving. There you go. He's equipped. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll activate the little magnate, and uh, that'll give us 10%. So the large magnate, I guess, is temporary as well, is it? Yeah, it lasts four hours. The bottom one only lasts one hour, so it's three times as good, and it lasts four times as long. Uh, so pretty cool. All right, I look forward Your to doing that. I like the, from its I like the diving stuff. Well, we're here now, but we're not gonna. I'm not gonna keep delaying. We'll send it over here so I don't forget about it. I'll have a look in between episodes what I got to do with it, and uh, that's gonna have to be it for this one. So in the next one, one more episode I think of focusing on Trelawney. We're gonna finally get them the motors that they need, and then uh, bring the oil over directly from the New World, probably here. And get Bright Harvest running and really set up like massive farms. Probably going to be a lot of time lapses in that one. Um, because it's just going to be a hell of a lot of building on Cape Trelawney. Alright, so that's going to be it. Thanks very much for watching. Apologies for the previous episode. It was really long. And I went out at a really weird time. Like very late on a Friday. So I feel like people might have missed it. But uh, I appreciate people sticking with the series. Even despite my irregularities sometimes. And... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for the support. Thanks to all the uh, channel members we've gotten recently as well. It's really, really, really awesome to see. Um, basically, like, one channel member, if they're at the lowest tier, is, like, providing, you know, 5,000 views. So that's just one person. It really helps. It's, like, crazy how low, I guess, ad revenue is for a particular, like, just for views and how much one person can contribute just with, like, 
you know, a small channel membership. Anyway, I sound like such a shill. I'm gonna go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.